morning, everybody. Um, Jen and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. This is day 11. Day of 11 of our Out West trip. And we are 2,400 miles away from home. Right. Um, today we are heading to the Petrified Forest and uh, the Painted Desert. We're going to be doing some hiking in that area. Um, and it's kind of like a, a scenic road that you go around that you can get out and there's lookouts and that kind of thing. But we're going to try to get out of the car and get down into it. There's one trail that you can get way down in. The Blue Mesa? Yeah. It's one of the trails we're going to go on today. Anyhow, we just wanted to share with you day 11. And um, we will be glad to share everything that we're seeing. All right. So anyhow, uh, yesterday was pretty cool. We went to El Moro <coughs> and we saw the Pueblo ruins, that sort of thing. And as we were driving away from there to our next destination to stay for the night, we took um, some back highways. 53. Yeah, Highway 53 to, to like Highway 190 or something like that, which hooked up with 40 to get us over to where we need to be. But it was really interesting. Uh, drive because we went through the Zuni Nation and uh, I did some reading about the history of their culture and it was really really cool and I, I mean they, they have some real real true history in their culture as far as far back as did you say two it? million yeah just incredible um, that they could trace their roots back that far Anyhow, it was, it was an interesting drive. Um, it was very desolate. I mean, it, I, it is so expansive out here. It's I have such a hard time with it because it's just there's you can see forever, and there's not a whole lot of anything. Anything. Yeah. I mean, when you get to little towns and that sort of thing, you you do see some grocery stores and gas stations that sort of thing. But in between, it's, it's pretty right nothing. Now. Yeah, and, and you do see cows out there, but I don't know where the homes are, or like where the ranches, the actual ranches are. You can't, you don't really see them, so it's kind of odd. Um, but it's interesting, it's so different from what we're used to. But I just wanted to um, talk about that because it was a really cool and interesting history lesson for me. So if you haven't ever heard of the Zuni Nation, I would suggest it maybe you might want to be or look it up because it, it's really the culture of their, their ancestral Pueblonians, I believe is how you would say it. Very cool. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It was funny. Right, so this is one of the places we passed on the way up. I wanted to get a video on the way back down to the Petrified Forest, but it's hilarious. Look at that. see the petrified forest and the painted desert this is the painted desert inn this is a national landmark out here this was the view out the back of the uh, inn I mean, can't you imagine how cool this was back then and this is the building it's so cool so pretty
Hi. Tumbleweed. In Navajo, the word chindi refers to the ghost left behind after a person dies. That's what you're looking at here. This is an appropriate name for this point. That's why they call this Chindi Point. As there are traces of thousands of ancient plants and animals in the view before you. Paleontologists continue to make fossil discoveries here. So that's why this is called Chindi Point and that's what it means. It refers to ghost. Very cool. Got this little car out here in the middle of the desert. So there's the old car, and if you look off to the left there, you see the old telephone poles that used to line the old Route 66 route. As they, far as you can see. Yeah, as far as you can see, they run parallel to I-40, and if you can look down this way as well, all the way down there. So. So Shannon and I are stopping here at the Puerco Pueblo. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. There you go. Yep. Anyhow, it's a trail right off of this little um, viewing area. Point three and it's going to take us to some of the Puebloan ruins. They've only excavated a small amount of these Puebloan villages, homes. And you can see uh, above the ground where they haven't started a lot of the stones but yeah it's just incredible how vast it probably was it goes way out you can see some of the outlines of some of them out here but yeah if you look around you that's what this is and these are thousands and thousands of years old super super cool all right so we are heading out to newspaper rock um, it's this is lots of petroglyphs from what i understand again newspaper rock look at this it's just spectacular
super cool. These are some of the dinosaurs. Dimorphodon. Well, Isu kids. Terrestrial is a predator. Grew up to 20 feet. Very cool. Yeah. Oh no, wow, I didn't even notice that. So cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the visitor centers here, Rainbow Forest. It's a really cool dinosaur exhibit. Very, very, very cool. She and I were just talking that you see these trains out here constantly. And they're always like this, these huge, long trains with these stacked cargoes. This is the Santa Fe Railroad. Okay, so yep, there you go. Oh my gosh. Anyway, can you see how long that thing is? Anyhow, they're constantly going. I mean, everywhere we have stayed out here, oh, look at that. You hear trains constantly, all night long. staying at Meteor Crater RV Park. Uh, the Meteor Crater is a National Historic Site down the road. Uh, we are less than 100 miles from Flagstaff, I believe, or from the Grand Canyon, so we're almost at our destination. Gonna have some dinner. Call it a night. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we will be seeing you later. Bye.